Hey, Devin, how are you today? I'm well. How are you, Megan? Good. I'm happy the sun is out and you just look radiant right now. You're just glowing. Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> yeah. So I'm here with Devin Reeves and I have known Devin for, I mean, over a decade. Since and we were children. Since we were children, <laughs> yes, exactly. I know. I know. Isn't that the truth? So I asked Devin to join us because she's the community and tenant relation manager for the Anaheim Packing District. And so um, during these t uh, pandemic times, Devin, we want to know as a community how we can uh, support our downtown Anaheim businesses. And so you are so gracious to join me and, and just kind of tell me what's going on and what we can do to help. Yeah, um, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to talk about it. Um, so yeah, I guess one thing we were both talking about before we started was the um, kind of what is the packing district and what does it encompass? So just I thought that would be a good place to start. So I think everybody knows Anaheim Packing District's main ingredient is the packing house, which is the historic packing a facility from 19 uh <laughs> oh my gosh it's, i haven't been in my office in a minute i forgot a lot i know let's say oh my I, gosh I, I know go keep going i'll look Anyways, it up Anyways, you know what it is um it's an orange packing facility and um 1919 the, i know there you go um, anyway <laughs> see what happens when you don't go into the office for i know Got cloudy brain. Um, so that's that's a food hall now, and it has um, around 27 different establishments within it. Um, we have the Make Building, which is two years older than the Packing House, and that has four different um, establishments in it. One of them's actually coming, hopefully this year. We'll see. Um, we have the Farmers Park, which has two cafes, and then we also have the Packard Building. What a lot of people don't know is that. The um, Center Street businesses on the north side of Center Street Promenade from Hummus Bean, which is right next to City Hall West or Anaheim West Tower, to La Lag Bar, which is just across from Anaheim Ice Rinks. Those are also part of the packing district. So um, what we did was we created a, a kind of a micro page on our website so people can keep updated with which of these establishments are currently open. So I'm constantly, I feel like a reporter, like constantly catching which ones are updating their websites, which ones are changing the hours. So we're trying to keep that updated as much as possible. I update it multiple times a day usually. Um, so if you go to anaheimpackingdistrict.com and the to go tab, that's where we're keeping that list updated. You can find the establishments who are open with curbside pickup, uh, delivery and also e-commerce. Um, we do have some gift cards available there too. I love that. That's wonderful. And I will, I'll post the link um, in the comments to this video so people can, you know, check it out. We really appreciate you keeping it updated. And I know you and I spoke briefly that um, some people are not even feeling like um, they want to, uh, purchase food prepared anywhere but their house and so right. you said um that you would uh maybe in the next week or so update the section about the gift cards so we can purchase gift cards and sort of infuse our businesses with a little cashola and then when things are better they can go in and enjoy a lovely time at our packing house yeah hummus and bean is the last place that I ate out. <laughs> oh my gosh, it feels like so long ago. It was it was uh, Friday, March thirteenth. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we Ooh, went in Friday there. the thirteenth. It was it was Friday the thirteenth. That was right when it happened because we have our our um, staff meetings every week, and we always like to go out somewhere local for lunch and you know catch up. So nice. What did you have? Well, I had, um, I had a salad with, I'm trying to like cut back on the carbs. So, yeah. so I had a salad with a protein. It was like a Mediterranean yeah. salad. It was so good. It was like, oh. I love the, do you say it, clamata olives? I don't know how to say that. Um, I don't, I don't want to correct you because now that you asked me, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's calamata. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, calamata. 
I know. It was Kalamata, so Kalamata, doodly day. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I love their, they, I love that they have low carb options. They have one there um, called the Ruby Special. Mm. So if you kind of like a plate style, it doesn't have the rice. So it just has, I think, like hummus and salad and your protein. So it sounds, it sounds that's so a good, good option too. Making me hungry. <laughs> I know. I've, I've been, um, so also another way people can keep connected with us is through our social media um, on Instagram. We're pretty active keeping our stories updated nice. um so if you're actually out and about and mm-hmm. you're doing an instagram story about one of the restaurants in the packing district tag us um at packing district because um right now i'm actually we're on a skeleton crew like a lot of businesses are so um managing it is kind of like herding cats um right it's, it's like chasing the stories all the time. So if you tag us, it makes it much easier for us. And then it gives us an opportunity to share. So if you have, you know, like if you wanted to, if you ordered, you know, hummus bean and you brought it home and you're eating it and you wanted to share it on your Instagram story, then tag at packing district as well as the restaurant. Cause then we can, and then, uh, return, you know, share that story. I love so, that. Um, that's a good, that's a really great idea because like, you know, the power of social media, I mean, it totally works. And because I'll, I'll look at something that somebody posted and it'll remind me that how much I like that, or if I want to yeah. try it or geez, I yeah. haven't been there yet. So, or oops, I forgot to eat today. I yeah. know. <laughs> Keep everything sort of top of mind, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so it's really cool. I think I, I didn't count the amount of businesses we have updated on the website, but I want to say there's around 17. Mm. Um, so that's a pretty good number. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering which businesses at the packing house are currently open. Um, right now, there's only one business at the packing house that's open, and that's Georgia's restaurant. Oh, Georgia, However, yeah. some of the other businesses in the packing house have alternate locations. For instance, mm. Audia has a location, another location, and then she's also been doing a pop-up with OC Baking Company, Um, so we have that information on that, on that website as well, as where you can support businesses that you love um, in other ways, like Pandora, for instance, they're not operating out of the packing house, but you can order their yummy bakery goods and their French cuisine and their crepes and um, all those delicious things from their orange location. They said they're servicing Anaheim. So if you did that through, I think it was Postmates, right. um, you can um, order through them. You can check, verify that through our website though. That's where I have all the information. Um, and then uh, the Blind Rabbit just announced that they're doing um, some uh, to-go cocktails and their menu from uh-huh. their other location, Stowaway, yeah. that's in Tustin. So if you were craving some Blind Rabbit, kind of have to make a little bit of a trek, I guess, to go pick it up from Tustin. But if you live in Tustin, because I know not everybody that's our friend lives in Anaheim, but you know, right? Um, you might be missing the blind rabbit and their cocktails and their like duck confit mac and cheese. Ooh. So those are some ways. And then um, I actually live in West Covina. Don't tell anybody because ah! I think everybody thinks I live in Anaheim, which I feel like I do because most right. of the time I'm there more than I am at home. But um, I was craving Unsung's beer so bad. So they actually shit, um, which is awesome. Oh, oh, wow. And I got, I had to get eight 32 ounce crawlers, you know, just because <laughs> I had to support the small businesses. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I still have them, you know, yeah. got a day, so I'm not like yeah. going too crazy over here. But yeah, there's other ways like you can do e-commerce as well. Like right. for instance, like if you're craving some, some comic books, pop comics, you can order on their website. Um, And they actually have a deal um, where you get free shipping if you buy, uh, I think it's like $20 in comics or books. Um, Over that, then you get free shipping. So you can keep yourself entertained too. No, no kidding. I know. I think think people, you know, we're doing a lot of screen time for work and for school. And it'd be nice to have like a book in your hands. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you can even buy collector collectible items from them too I think the shipping's a little different for those kinds of things but it's pretty cool and then I know they're not technically part of like our packing district um but I just like wanted to give a shout out to some of the surrounding businesses so if you go to that website I actually created um on Google and also on Yelp um a collection for each one of those to to kind of include more than just like the businesses I 
specifically represent. Um, so there, you can find Tony's Deli on there. Nice. Um, I think I included Ruby's. Um, also, our really good friends, Mike and Sonia from um, Colony Wine Merchant. I was there last night. Really cool things. Like, I'm so jealous of you right now. <laughs> in Anaheim and I don't. Maybe, you, you know what? Maybe I'll do a tour, a virtual tour. You can sell my house and then <laughs> I'll just move to Anaheim. <laughs> so, um, just so that I could get some of the goodies that you guys get to get over there. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, their um, care packages are really cool. They, they have good. like these amazing cuts of like r aged ribeye wagyu steak. I don't even know how you say it. I don't think I've that ever tried to right. say it. Right. Yeah. With like amazing bottle of California wine and some fresh goodies. So like that's really awesome. And, and they'll deliver that I think to, within a, what was it like a 10 mile radius or uh, sounds, I don't know. Sounds familiar, but they, people can go to the website just to make sure. But but yeah, like I, I um, called ahead and, you know, my, got my wine and, you know, there was people just popping in, grabbing their bag and, and going, you know? Yeah. Oh, and then also just so everybody knows, well, tomorrow everybody knows that's Easter Sunday, um, Anaheim Brewery and several of the other restaurants won't be open. So I suggest if you need to get some beer for your dinner or your brunch um, to go pick up from Anaheim Brewery today between 4 and 6 p.m. Yeah. Because um, they won't be open tomorrow. They'll be yeah. celebrating at home with their family. But, um, but there's like Georgia's and then also 18 Folds. They yeah. both have these amazing family dinners that are available. Um, some people might have been lucky enough to order from Hobbs Barbecue. The I deadline love already Hobbs. passed. Oh my gosh! He I'm had like cute. a ham, like a smoked ham uh. and prime rib and everything, and I think it was like a hundred and sixty bucks, and it was like a ton of food. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, but I think the best thing to do is if if you're not you know reluctant or anything like that, if you can do um, delivery or pick up, um, that's awesome. But like Megan said, if you wanna. Um, by gift cards I'll make sure to update our website with places where you can get gift cards as well I know two of our tenants had very easy way to get gift cards and that was Pally Wine and um Okayama Kobo I but got, a lot of the other places I've got an Okayama Kobo gift card right here Woo! nice Woo! <laughs> we need some, some comfort food for oh stressful times do you ever get any of their more like interesting items, like the sandwich with like spaghetti in it? Oh yeah. Have you ever had that? Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. Good. I love I love everything there. Everything. I mean, my oh, kids, my, my kids are addicted to the salt and butter rolls. Oh, they're so good. So simple. So good. With I know. Coffee. I know. Really good. They're making me hungry now. But yeah, and then um. I know Lag, Lag Bar did like a one day only um, opening. So I'm just keeping my eye on social media to see if they're going to pop up again. Because yeah. I know some people are missing their, they have really good cocktails and some really nice fun snacks. So yeah. Oh, well, good. Well, I appreciate you taking some time out today. And uh, it's beautiful, wonderful to see your face. And you too. I miss you. Yeah, I know. I can't wait to look at all be in person again yeah, yeah. we should do, you should do a big zoom at the colony happy hour yeah and um we could all have a glass of wine oh i love that <laughs> okay i'm gonna make a note colony happy hour <laughs> all right deb well have a wonderful day you be too good, be healthy and i'll you. call you um you know we'll check in and if there's any updates or something let me know but we'll just check the website sounds good thank all you right. Thank you. Bye, Megan. Bye.